Hi, my name is Imenia. So I've lived in multiple cities. Um, I moved to Singapore during the 1998. Then after that, I pursued my education in um, United States. I returned home for Jakarta for the first time in 2008. I left again in 2013 and moved to London. And finally, I'm back. And right now, I'm working in Michael Page. I'm George. I live in the United States for 10 years. And I came back to Indonesia in early 2012. I am now a professional golfer and an entrepreneur. Hi, uh, I'm Selena and I'm Indonesian. I lived in the Netherlands for about five years until I came back to Indonesia in 2015. It's just, my reasons might be a bit different than a lot of people. <laughs> uh, they are, you know, well, in a sense, it's the same because there are a lot of opportunities here. I was given opportunities here. After I finished my undergraduate degree, I wanted to come back right away, but decided to pursue my master's degree there. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, uh, I was also invited as a, I, I was playing golf over there as well. I was under a scholarship when I was at Berkeley, mm. and then uh, when I when I wanted to turn pro, and then the national team came and came up and called, and they said, "But play for your country. You know, you never try playing for your country. It's very, it's a very very good thing to do. It. You're gonna be very proud. It's a different experience. So mm. I gave it a try, and got mm. so gitu. Yeah. <laughs> Setelah balik, I played the sea games. Played really well, uh, got a silver and a bronze medal. It's, I'm very proud to be playing for Indonesia. Doing something that you like, but at the same time, you're actually, um, how do I say it, put the Indonesian name on the golfing map as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, well, there are, I would say, my life, like the first time I came back home to Jakarta, I've left Indonesia for the past 11 years, so it was in 2008. And generally speaking, it was very tough. And the reason I went back is because like, I just want to settle down in Jakarta because after 11 years gone, like <laughs> it, it feels forever being yeah. outside. It's still home, isn't it? Yeah, but the first four years, it was challenging to adjust to Indonesia. Then I decided, okay, maybe it's not really the right time to be back home. So I left again for London. Um, so I left in 2012, 2013. And that's when I realized that for foreign perspective, Indonesia is quite different. It's a land of opportunity, but that's only you realize when you're outside. Sometimes being in the country, you take things for granted. Sure. So I decided after completing my graduation and everything, then here I am, like straight away going back to Jakarta and join Michael Pates as part of the first six hires to launch the business here. There's no place like home, huh? Yes, exactly. <laughs> It is challenging and I, and I said that because you expect it, right? You have a certain expectation because maybe you've been in Indonesia before. When things don't go as you expected, that's when you get a bit confused and stressed. So I think having good support system, for example, and just being very open-minded, there's a few adjustments that you need to, to take as well. But once you're, you're, once you're settled, um, it, it's very good though. It, it does feel good to be back here. Like Celine said, it's all about adjustments. Uh, first of all, when I first came here, it was very challenging as well. But you have to evolve you know, to get better. I mean, this ever-changing pace, it's really good for you. You learn along the way. Yeah, you just uh, learn and go along with it. And yeah, you stumble here and there, but mm. you will learn from your mistakes. That's and then true. you will come back stronger yeah. and you, you will eventually, like you said, get comfortable and then uh, do your things, you know, in the proper way according to mm. what you, you wanted. You know? Yeah, um, once you back again, uh, and you've been abroad for quite some time, mm. you start to wanting to also um, influence people around you because mm. you know that as a country, as a nation, we should and can be better. Mm. So it's like, it's not falling into the same mistakes of the people around us, but mm. actually to try to encourage everybody else that we can actually be better. Um, definitely, it's, it's not the easiest country to adjust to. So um, the good things about being home in Indonesia is you've got friends, you've got family, whereas when you're overseas, whatever happens to you, you're all alone. Mm. And you can only be having a phone call or maybe through the internet, but over like people are physically around you to support you. I think that makes a lot of difference mm. being back home and being overseas. Mm.